video we are going to learn how to use blaze meter to record j meter tests and i will tell you what is blaze meter and all the steps so these are the steps we are going to see we will create a blaze meter account and then we will get the blaze meter extension on browser log into the account record a test save the jmx file and then add the jmx file on jmeter and then run the test now blaze meter is a application that we can use to run performance tests on the cloud so let me just go and search for blaze meter and here is the blaze meter you can see it says open source enterprise ready platform that unifies all shift left functionality with that is performance testing functional testing load testing and api testing so there are lot of options this is a cloud based service and if i go to blazemeter.com and you can see all the documentation here so this is basically a continuous testing platform and you will get all the options to do performance testing you can add your jmeters jmx file here and do the testing and the first step is i will click on start testing now or you can click on get started and we need to register and in my case i am already registered so i will just log in you just so you can create an account and we have done step number 1 that is create blaze meter account now we will need a blaze meter extension for recording and you can go to your chrome and go to apps and go to web store on chrome browser and search for blaze meter and here is the blaze meter extension so you can see this is the extension if i go inside and see the details you can see here this is for recording the http traffic and it is apache jmeter compatible and you can add it to your chrome in my case it is already added therefore i am getting this option remove from chrome and if i go to my extensions you can see here is my blaze meter extension and let me go to my website that i want to record and here is my blaze meter extension now you should be logged into your blaze meter account if you see something like login here then you can first login and then give any name here let me say this is jmeter demo and now if i go to advanced options you can see we have options to use the current browser or you can use any other browser if you want to sometimes we need to test on some particular browser in that case you can see all these options are here as of now i will say my current browser here we have the filter patterns so i am saying i only want to add the http and http as patterns and nothing else and then we have these options to disable browser cache record ajax and all these options are here our test plan will get created accordingly as we select all these options here and then i will click on recording or start recording and now you can see as i go to my home page it will do the recording here and you can see the sampler count here and you can see this is getting recorded i will go to archives page and the count is increasing here you can also pause the recording and let me go to my about page here and of course in case you want to go to any other page whatever you want to do you can do that it will record all the actions let me say i go to this 2 minute rule page this article is here how to find your passion in three steps i am going here and all this will get recorded now once you have recorded you can click on the stop button i will say stop and now i will go back to the extension and this is now stopped and now i have the option to run edit or save if i see run we have options to run a performance test api functional test gui test and user experience monitoring i will just click on run here and it will ask what domains you want to include i only want to include this and i will say submit and it will start execution on the blaze meter dashboard so you will see on your blaze meter dashboard it will open itself and it will show you the execution and of course with a free account you will have some limitations but you can still see it running on the cloud so you can see here it is warming up and it can take some time 
it is booting and then it will download and will get ready and you will see all the options and all the results here but what we are more interested in is we want to get the gmx to be executed on our gmeter so i will again go to the extension and then we have an option to edit just in case you want to edit the script you will see this option and here if you want to do make any changes you can do that you can always export the gmx from here directly or if i go back to the extension i can always save it from here directly so i can select the gmx format and i only want live charger domain and i will click on save and this will save on my system you can see this is getting saved here i can go and open the file so this is here let me copy this and i will take it to the system where i have jmeter i will paste it here on my windows i am using jmeter here so it has come here so here we have done step number 2 we have got the blaze meter extension we have logged into blaze meter we have recorded the test we have also saved our jmx file now i will go to my jmeter and i will say open and i will select this jmx file and say open and you can see i have got the entire test plan created i have got the header manager the user defined variables where it has created a variable called base url and using this url or the domain name in the request defaults i have got this which is empty as of now and this is the cache manager authorization manager cookie manager and here we have this cache manager and if i go to the thread group as of now we have one user ramp up period 1 and one loop count and if i open the test you can see here this is a transaction controller and under this we have all our requests and you can see this was my home page and it is referring the user defined variables here then this was the archives page this one is the about page then i went to the 2 minute rule page and then i went to the how to find your life purpose page and i can now just directly add a listener i will do a right click on the thread group and add a listener let us say view results tree and also you can see for every request it has also added a constant timer so here you can see this is added this is just to add some random delay to mimic real world use of the application and i can now go and run the test plan and check the result and you can see the results are coming here so we have got this all this is coming here and if i go to the thread group i can increase the load from here now and i can do a actual load testing so you see in the earlier session we have used a https test script recorder which was inbuilt in jmeter and there we had to set up all the proxies and certificates and everything but here you can just use the blaze meter extension do the recording and add the gmx in your gmeter and run so we have also done step number 6 and i hope this was very easy and very useful i will meet you in the next session thank you for watching